What's up guys here with another video today. Today we're gonna be doing another review. Up, this man? guy came back in town. Just pull this out. How long you had it for? Uh September 5th. And it's a 20? Yeah. 2020 brand new Corvette C8 guys. Told you guys I have a video for it. I definitely got it. Let's check it out. Oh. <laughs> Hit my head. Wow. How many horsepower it has? Uh 495. But see the problem here, you're not past 100 miles, are you? Uh no. How many miles do you have? Uh like 380. 380? Yeah. So you still have a long way to go. Yep, 121 miles. <laughs> <laughs> so you're riding on a Michelin uh, Pilot Sport uh, 4S's. 4S's. Okay. It was Z51 package also? Yeah, it was Z51. Uh, how's, uh, how's the room? You mind if I open it? How's like, uh, the, the spacing? Bro, I'm a big dude as you can see. And a very big car. It's a little dirty, but I just took a road trip. Hey, you came all the way down from Philadelphia. Yeah. You're getting ready for H2O. But, yeah. But shit's going down there, so I don't know if we'll be taking it. I don't know if we'll be taking, we'll taking a lot of toes going on, so. I like this steering wheel a lot. I like the way it makes yeah, you. Yeah, I didn't like it at first start, and I started. Really? Running. You didn't like it? No, I think this is like the first thing that catches my eye is the steering wheel. Uh, I like how everything is like you're in a cockpit. Yeah, uh, it's like everything for is you. Everything is towards this freaks me out. It freaked me out first out, I'm not gonna lie, and then I got used to it. The bottom is for the passenger, then the top is for the driver. Okay, but where is the divider? Here maybe? Here and up or how would up you know? Down. Hmm. I don't know if I would ever get I don't know. That's hard. No, it's not bad. It's not enough. I think I feel like maybe the bottom I don't know. I honestly I honestly it's don't bad. know. Uh these are cool. The park yeah. and reverse, all the other bullshit, the knob. Uh, do clutch. Then you was showing me something about. Oh yeah, that's off right now. That's the mirror. That turned into the camera. That is absolutely. And then turn crazy. it off again. That's the mirror. As and then you turn it on and then turn it. To the so camera. could you drive with this on? I don't is think it it, I don't use a regular camera. So it's con so it's not just a backup I use camera. I camera, not the mirror. So it's not just a backup camera. It's, it's no, constantly it's constant, on. No, it's constant. Yeah. Then you wow. got the front camera, traction. I'm only missing one option. I'm missing the lift package. Okay. You're, you're 43. What was that, a couple months ago? What did yeah. you say? This is a big upgrade. Yeah, awesome upgrade. It's just the ride is so much more different than any other Corvette yeah. ever drove. It is. For some reason. It's more <laughs> clear, it's more... Yeah, I feel like see. it's more visible. And you know? the C7Z, you can't see nothing. Anyway. Right. Yeah, C7Z, there's barely any room for the passenger yeah. or even the driver there's a lot of there's a lot of leg room uh i'm a big dude i'm six i'm six one right and i'm so you can't even i don't know it's tough well yeah i'm not the biggest guy in the world i'm five eight yeah. so i mean me saying there's a lot of room doesn't really mean much because so are you, are you planning on doing anything um i'm gonna put the factory high wing on there uh-huh and maybe in the future some wheels but nothing now uh, I'm gonna wrap my roof, my roofing wrap, my roof, my roofing hammer fiber. I'm gonna wrap it, oh. and probably some kind of exhaust. Okay. That's all I really need, basically. Right. All right. So since we arrived in Mexico a little bit, I guess we give it a. It's on normal mode right now. Yeah. Uh, let's just give it a little pull. That's all you can do, you just gotta laugh it off, that's all you can do. Oh my god. About a 35. Wow. Wow. So, so far on comfort, this car is really running really, really smooth. You don't feel nothing in it. Like, it doesn't feel like you're in a sports car just because of how good it rides. Yeah. Um, the looks you get in this car is ridiculous. Yeah, I've been noticing since I've been driving it, there's a lot of people breaking a lot of this. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Sometimes it's scary, I gotta, I'm very true. 
You feel like they're gonna look at your car and not pay attention. It's a right. sometimes. Yeah, you, you almost feel like a celebrity in this car. Yeah, it's bad. All right, man. So you've been driving a little bit. You've been driving like probably like five minutes, ten minutes. How are you like it so far? <sighs> I like the way it drives. It's it's comfortable. Yep. The power is there when you need it, even though it's not broken in, even though it's not the full 495, yeah. 85, yeah. whatever it is. 495, yeah. It's not there. You can yeah. tell it's not there. You can tell the way the car shifts. Yes, it's not, the, the, the car bogs down. Yeah. But you can tell it's not the car's fault at the same no, time. No, the car's itching. The downshifts are... Try to watch my head on this one. so quick with the oh my god <laughs> <laughs> bro this thing goes on oh rails my man god. all right guys just got just got done doing that little test drive just got back from mexico uh, if you guys want to see more content like this, uh, let me know in the comments below. Tell me, guess what, what, tell me what you guys would like to see. Uh, might take the, this and this down to Mexico too. Uh, I know I'll get whipped, but hey, just for just to see what happens, you know. Uh, so I'll catch you guys in another video.